Hello again and welcome to Ndu Dubai Fafa. Fafa Gilbert and welcome to my creative African cooking channel in Dudu by Fafa where you learn about African dishes with my own twist. This channel is fun, it's um, educational. I'm quite cheeky. I don't take things too seriously even though you should take things seriously. <laughs> I don't know why. I wonder what if you do that's up to you. I don't even know what she's on about. Oh gosh, she's mumbling again. Anyway, to my frying pan I've actually got my grains of saline which is the winter and star anise. Now, if you don't have star anise, you can actually use the aniseed. Aniseed is actually known as sukoni, or in the Akan language is inkatinkate. So I think a lot of people have actually asked me about that. So now you know when you do go into town or to the market, you ask for that and hopefully you can actually join me on this recipe. So I'd actually ran out of my salted beef ages ago and I've actually been in talks with friends and figuring out like what the best recipe is in actually making this um, but no one could actually tell me apart from the standard you know beef and salt but I was like no there's a little bit more to it then again I was like okay why don't I just create my own and I'll tell you what I loved it so yes this is the Ndudu twisted salted beef now trust me when you try this you won't try any other again <laughs> Now you have to bear with me with my voice. I've been unwell for the last five days. Um, so yes, if I'm croaky or like, you know, my sense of humor is not as great, it's just because I'm under the weather. But anyway, enough of the talk. So to 350 grams of my sirloin steak, because I like the sirloin steak, it's soft, it's fatty, it's just perfect. I've added 50 grams of sea salt, and then I've got my grains of saline, which is the wintia, and star anise. I've mixed everything together and now I'm actually adding some vinegar. Now the vinegar actually adds, adds a little moisture but yet again it actually locks and kills any bacteria on the surfaces. So the salt kills the meat and then also the vinegar as well you know just does exactly what the salt does and it's just perfect. So you rub everything just nicely into every part of this meat. And then you use a container, whether you got a glass container or a plastic container, it has to have its lid. And then you transfer all this beautiful mixture into your container. And the reason why I actually warmed up the spices is to release the oils. So when I actually marinated in it, it actually infused into the meat. So you know like when you're actually making your soup and stuff, you actually have this beautiful aromatic taste. And it's just like this lovely tasting meat to be quiet. Just so I was like, hey, where did this one come from? And here's the to be twist. So yet again, as I said, if you don't have the star anise, it's fine. You can use your inkatinkate or sukoni in our way. So cover your container with its lid and leave it overnight in a warm place. So after 12 hours of me actually leaving it in a warm place, I then proceeded to actually leave it in my fridge. I left it in my fridge for a total of four weeks, which was a month. Now every fourth day, what I did was then add a little bit more salt. So I'd add about five grams of salt and I'll turn everything over just to allow the infusion to still take place. Yes, and I prefer it that way because I know that, you know, one can actually leave it to what in that and one that. I just want the flavors to intensify and to enhance itself. Now, by adding the salt to the meat, what salt does is it extracts the moisture out of the meat, which is what you can actually see there. And when it extracts the moisture, it actually kills the meat. So this is so easy and after four weeks, you've got your perfect salted beef. Now I use this to actually make my uh, mix my nguamu, which is another recipe that's going to be coming out. And what I just did was actually wash this meat and I used it for this nguamu. It was deep fine. I can't wait to share that recipe with you actually. <laughs> At least I enjoyed it, so I know you will enjoy it too. 
I hope you're actually inspired to try the recipe um, because yes, I did love the flavor of this meat of the salted beef. It was just like beautiful. And um, yes, I hope you're inspired to try it and then leave a, a comment below and tell me your experience, like the video. And we need to push to 20,000 members, you know, we need to push 20,000 subscribers. So yes, each time you watch the video, please, if you like it and you've enjoyed the recipe, share with your family and friends. I'd appreciate that, okay? Now I'm going to actually leave the recipe, including the ingredients and measurements. I'm going to leave the link to my blog in the description box below, so do check it out. I'm also on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter as Indu Dubai Fafa. My blog's name is indudubaifafa.blogspot.com, so don't forget that. Now, yes, until next time, take care of you, and yeah, I'm struggling today. Much love, bye.